right, guys, we are getting right into this glute-inspired home workout. Um, you guys are welcome to do this at the gym as well. All you guys need is a floor and dumbbells, and you are golden, okay? So this is a, these are some of my tried and true, my isolating, activating exercises for your glutes specifically. So we're going to get right into it, okay? So we're going to start with a more of a compound move, very similar to hip thrust. We're going to do the dumbbell glute bridge, okay? So the dumbbells, you're going to notice in the video how I'm positioning them on my pelvis and on my hips, okay? Notice all of my weight is in my heels, and I'm maintaining a 90-degree angle at the back of my knees, okay? So your, your upper body, including your neck, are nice and secure on the floor, so you don't have to worry about tucking in your chin because as you're lifting your glutes up, squeezing your, you're hinging at your hips, lifting your glutes up, you're pulling your pelvic floor up, sucking that blueberry in, you know where I'm talking about, core is nice and engaged, you're going to squeeze your glutes, pressing all of your weight into your heels. And so as you guys know, we don't all have access to specific weights, whether we're at home or at the gym. So there's definitely other variations of making this exercise more challenging. That includes pulses at the top, isometric holds that you're, note, you're seeing right now in this video demonstration, plus a bunch more alternatives, right? Another tip, if you guys only have, you know, one set of dumbbells at home, um, you just want to make the most out of every single exercise. And so this one, this forward leaning lunge with kickback is a double whammy, okay? So you're going to be engaging both glutes in different ways. So in terms of positioning, you're going to be in a traditional lunge position, but not too wide of a stance, okay? Dumbbells will be on the floor on both sides of that front foot, okay? And you're gonna be leaning forward because by leaning forward, you're gonna be engaging your glutes more than just a traditional upright lunge, okay? So from the bottom, you're gonna pull that weight up, stand up into the lunge position, lower back down, and at the bottom, while you're still leaning forward, you're gonna kick back your other leg, okay? And don't forget to do the other side, okay? And if you hear Kobe, he is my little, uh, companion today um, with this voiceover so you might hear him in the background I'm um, going into side donkey kicks you guys have seen me do these multiple times I absolutely love it the positioning on this is you're gonna have that dumbbell behind your knee okay and you're gonna be squeezing your calf into your hamstring or basically you're squeezing your leg together to hold that dumbbell behind your knee and it is going to be uh, lifting up from the side forward leaning diagonal kicked up these I love doing just as a burnout as soon as I drop the weight from the side donkey kicks you're going to kind of lean slightly forward so that you're really going to still engage your glutes um, but also the outer glutes from going up a little bit more at a diagonal and with this home-based workout, you're going to notice there's going to be a lot more sets, reps, as well as these burnouts, you know, into pulses and holds. And those are all ways of really challenging yourself at home if you only have one or two sets of dumbbells. If you guys have larger weights, you know, 50s, which I don't recommend doing these donkey kicks with a 50-pound dumbbell behind your knee, these will be a 10, 15, maybe a 20 pound dumbbell behind your knee. Um, that is a lot of weight behind that your knee. So it's going to be a lot more higher rep and burnout rather than performing a lot of weight. Um, again, this is going to be our, one of our final exercises. This is going to be a uh, super set right after that donkey kick. You're going to see all that in the description below. We're finishing off with a diamond or a froggy glute bridge, okay? Again, we started with weighted glute bridges early in this workout. Now we're going to finish off with this burnout. You can add weight to this one. Um, whatever, however you guys are feeling, we're going to do four sets of everything. Again, it's all in the description for you. So knees are pointed out, and you're going to aim to keep your the balls of your feet together in front of you. You're going to be squeezing your glutes just as you do in traditional glute bridge, but your the your leg positioning is different in this one and this is going to be a burnout move again if you want to add weight you're more than welcome to but otherwise you're just going to squeeze your glutes th hip thrust your hips upward pull your pelvic floor in core is engaged exhale on the hard part and again notice i'm finishing with pulses here so this is just again to burn out your glutes for this workout all right guys i hope you loved this workout
I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, again, leave a comment below uh, depending on what you guys want to see. I'm trying to give you a variety of workouts here on YouTube. I hope you loved it. And all this fabric just so that we can have the option to go to switch them around. Yep. I'm yeah, I'm tempted to go. I'm tempted to put them in for Valerie since we already did chestnut in Valerie's. Mm -hmm. And then, and I think, I mean, I feel like with that fabric, I think that's gonna look nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it yeah. gives me like stable barn vibes or like mm -hmm. all the like, horses in a yeah. sense. You should take a trip out to Utah and shoot this stuff. Or Arizona or something. Yeah. Sand everywhere. <laughs> I'd, I guess I'd... Um, see, that's what's like... A, the pink and the short solid looks really cute. I do think that the heathered is going to hide more for people. Mm -hmm. So they might be more likely to try it out. Thin. And they're so hard to cut. I hate doing it. Yes. He mm -hmm. hates when I touch his nails. Oh, God. That's like the word. I hate doing it. They're so small. What's up guys? All right, so as you can see, well, photo shoot over here at our house today. I just put the boys both down for a nap, so it was the perfect time. So I'm gonna just go get some content of this little lunch we're dropping. It's a little bit of a few things. Um, some new cozy sweat sets that are in new colors. Um, and again, it's just colors you've seen in the past, just our remaining yards of the material, plus we've got their warmth shorts, plus a few other things, including a new collar in the Valerie and the Faith V crop top. Pretty, pretty awesome. Here, oh, that's really, really up there, up close. Um, but yeah, so yeah, boys are sleeping, so we're just multitasking over here. Uh, we got three of our girls here today to shoot. Um, again, it's such a, it's a smaller launch, so we're not doing anything too crazy here. Um, again, just a very comfortable. The palette is beautiful. I think you guys are gonna really like it. It's kind of like a more of a neutral drop with some pops of color, neutral colors. Okay, so. You held me back when I tried to move on.